hello welcome to this video and here yeah, i want to talk about um how to make money doing um n9 modification um, for people now um if you're watching this video and you are used to the self-service portal okay you recognize that or you realize that you can only do this using your phone and the person has to be physically present with you all right but in this case I want to show you that it is even possible that the person is not the person you want to modify n i n for is doesn't have to be around you so if you are watching this video you are someone who is familiar with the self service portal or even if you are not familiar with the self service n i n modification portal that is showing on your screen if you are not familiar with this it's still not a problem this can be a source of business for you okay you can modify people's n9 a lot of people have issue with their n9 they, that needs modification outdoors please it is outdoors only outdoors um, people who are already from 17 well, let me say from 16 and above those are the people that you can modify their n9 so now here i want to show you that you can use your laptop to do this right and then all the person needs to do is send you the details and send you a photo a photograph as you can see on my screen i have a photograph here now of a particular client just to prove that this thing works right i'm going to show you something so if you are used to the self-service portal you know that if you are to do modification for the person you have to register an account for the person so let me i'll just fill in anything this is for tutorial purpose so i don't need to write anything i'm just putting anything okay just to show you that this thing is this thing can work so we'll click on next Click on continue. So right here, what the NIMC um, service portal wants to do, self-service communication portal wants to do is to do what is called facial validation. Now, if you are to be using your phone, if you are to be using your phone, it will take you to the place where you have to do your photo. It has to capture your photo. All right. So this is where I'm showing you now. Voila. So if you are used to doing um uh if you see this platform you recognize that this is the difference between um appearance and non-appearance so for if you do the n9 um, modification for someone you have to the person has to be there with you you will register the details of the person and carry your phone and snap yeah that time around that time you have to use your phone you could even use your laptop but it's not going to be easy with laptop because it requires your camera your laptop camera your webcam knowing fully well that this thing requires the person to be physically present how do you now do modification for someone without the person being present right i just show you that without the person being present you can do this using a particular software that i'm going to introduce to you so i've packaged a course that you can use to use to learn everything that there is if whether you are already used to the n9 modification whatever or you are not let's say you are a newbie you can use this to make money for yourself the, so this is for both newbies and those who are already into the n9 business okay so let me show you i've prepared a course that caters for all of these things and i'm going to show you in a moment so first this is the course it is titled non-appearance self-service modification course everything for a newbie and whether you are a newbie or you are not this is you can use this right you can you i tell you go through everything you see let me open it here so there's introduction where i talk about first things first there are things you need to know this is the first things first all right let me just show you a glimpse okay so first things first i have listed everything so you're going to read this for example you have to verify the person's n9 just to be sure so before you even begin at all this one thing a lot of people don't even know but i have covered it there are different people that have taught this course different people sorry who have taught on how to do self um, non-appearance self service modification and they don't cover these things i've covered right i have helped it to be as seamless as possible so before you even begin anything there are certain things you want to put in place number one you want to verify the person's n9 is valid somebody cannot just give you a job and you just start you just want to jump into working working on it no you don't want to spend energy spend time only to get to 
know that realize later that the N9 is not valid. That would that would not make any sense. So you have to confirm the person's N9. Number two, you have to confirm if the person has created an account on immigration portal before. So if you want to confirm if the client has created an account on immigration before, so the N9. Um, so if the person has created an account, you don't want to go all over and start creating an account for the person. You have wasted time already only for you to realize that this person is already already have an account and there is a way to know if someone has act, already registered on on the portal before there is a way there's a an error pop-up message you to pop up then number three you want to test the photo so before you even begin the work you have to test the photo that's one of the first things you have to test test the photo first verify that the a9 is valid you can't do anything you can't modify an a9 that is not valid number two you want to um, confirm if the person has created an account on the on self-service list this is not immigration this is self-service okay self-service portal self-service communication portal then three want to verify, test the photo all right then number four it's the same thing like number one so you want to verify the nine on nmc so before you even begin if it's for dob you have to do mpc that is national population census um birth attestation you want to do it for the client before you even get to do it you need to verify that a9 is um is good to go there is a way to know to do to know that the nine is good to go before you even proceed so all of these things have been covered in the course so i covered first things first here then i talked about the app installation and the setup i recorded two videos there, i think so so they are more than so i recorded different videos now if you are using uh if you have obs installed on your system it will interrupt the process so i will I show you how to uninstall the obs virtual camera like I have OBS here, that's what I'm using to record. But if I'm to use it for the modification, it's going to interrupt. However, I have disabled the virtual camera because your browser is going to pick the it's going to pick your different cameras because it wants to validate the photo. So the your browser will pick the camera, but you want it to pick the software only so that you will not be stressing yourself. How to I show you how to deactivate your the, your default camera the camera that came with your phone you have to deactivate it to, for this to, for this to work then um, in another module i covered how to add the image to the software like you like you like like you, you could see um before I, I, like you could see here i added the image to the software i'm going to show you how to add it and then how to set it up how to set it so that it is working fine so that the NIMC portal will be able to pick the photo. All right, and I covered a lot of things about the kind of photo a customer should send to you. I covered a whole lot on that. I think it's on that first things first, the kind of photo. Because not all photographs will work, so there has to be a specific um, quality of photo. I show you how to add, okay, I think I've said this before. Module what again. So emails, show you how to create unlimited emails right using your phone because you will need to create an email account for your client right and or at the end of the day you might ask them to create, um, create an email account and send you the login details any of them works but if you feel like you don't want to drop the client you want your work to be done fast you create an email then i sh also taught you sh how to delete an email account so as you create them they'll be getting many on your phone you need to remove them the next one is practical videos. So yeah, I'll show you practical videos on how to modify DOB. So here on DOB, I show you DOB modification from start to finish, how to obtain, how to do NPC DOB attestation um, and all of that. And name modification, I think it's just one video. So I covered all of that here. Then what else? Other videos. So there are some other videos here that you need to learn some other things then. There are resources you are going to use, right? Some people will talk about affidavits. How do I get affidavit? How do I get this document, that document? You don't need all of those documents, right? In this course, I've provided the kind of documents to use for phone number, for all the modifications. You know, you need police reports for phone number modification. I have a document you can use. You need affidavits for your NPC. I have, and I have that. Then the document you need for better... Uh, for name and address I also have we also have it. I'm going to show you what to do or what what to upload 
as document in those places so you don't need to trouble yourself so when you get this course right you would have done yourself a whole lot of good a whole lot of good so kindly reach out to me um if this interests you if you want to obtain this course trust me if you get this course it's going to help you this is my way of trying to help you help anyone who is serious to make money right this can be a big source of income for you if you are already in any business you know that this is a big is a big thing and nine modification is a big thing so um so reach out to me um via the phone number showing on your screen right now and i'll be able to guide you through paying for the course getting access to the course and everything we also have a support group where you can ask any question you want and get guidance um, make friends with people there so that you can even get better in the business and um, even get to help people to make money self from there some persons sometimes may not have the time or a photo may be may not be working for them so if you are in the support group and you are available you can pick the job and then all right you make money right by helping another person another uh, student like you in the support group so main advantage of being in that group all right so reach out to me and then let's let me sign you up all right so i actually feel feel to let you know that you're not <laughs> you're not alone in this business in the sense that we have a community as you can see here we have a community and uh, and yeah you can see we have right now yeah about um, how many persons here let me see about 30 members here let me not say 30 let me see like 27 because three are myself and two other persons are here i think all right so and you can see some messages are popping and someone is asking a question and all of that so you'll be here and you know we are interacting we are solving problems for everyone another i need to add this you know add this um, to <laughs> this video so that you know that you are not you are not this is not a child's play you have proper guidance you have me as your coach so you have nothing to worry about yeah yeah in case you don't know me if you're first time watching this video trust me you know regrets I, I don't want to, you know, boast of myself. But I know what I have to offer. I know what I give. I know what I have. All right. So that's that.